Beast! Yay! It's story time about the Beast. A revelation. The lawless one. A brother of another mother who I love, but he is the Antichrist wannabe. Who will not be. Because just as Jonah 3 in the word of God aborted prophecy, so too shall the prophecy of the Antichrist be aborted in the same exact like manner and God will relent. That is the fullness of Jeremiah 30, 24. He says, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if you give me the desire of my heart, which he prayed for in Gethsemane, love, love, that we would be one in love. And he has been faithful to perform his own word, Matthew 24, 22. Uh, the master said that unless the prior age of grace had been cut short by his kingdom age word of Malachi 3, 1, his covenant message, as it says right there, of Jeremiah 31, which is his everlasting covenant uh, that has always been over all men, to unplug the Dante Inferno kind of thinking that has fueled uh, religion in very bad ways. And uh, so it's time to have story time. And you gotta, anybody bothers you, just like Morgan might bother me, you just gotta give them one of those. And I gotta get past the great courses plus. And, uh, cause that's really important. So welcome to this reading in love from love and hope from hope. And I'm trying to fast forward it here. Now I went way too far. Oh dears. But people, the hell of our imagination is all out of a storybook, Dante's Inferno. And the story there is that uh, in the Kingdom Age covenant, rightly given correctly, <laughs> uh, God says, I will forgive your iniquity and never remember them. If he remembered our iniquity, he would be a liar. End of story right there. So he's closing the door to judgment upon one and all by his living word. I am Shiloh of Genesis 49, one foretold to be alcoholic. Habakkuk 2, alcoholic, foretold, one transgressed by wine, King James, but the just will live by my faith. So times are changing and the lawless one had to be revealed according to Second Thessalonians before the master could return. So celebrate people expecting the Messiah because he's a lot closer now because the one uh, revealed is the freak show sword swallower who has started his own atheistic kingdom age uh, religion that shall not be and uh, shall uh, all, all of his hot air so just out of uh, that, that movement. Uh, it'll never arise to what he expected. But um, it's been cut short because God's word has come anew, just as Daniel 12, 9 foretold, because God's word was only closed until the time of the end. It had to reopen for the one that would restore all things, Matthew 17, 11. If, if the canons of, of uh, God that were closed by man if they did not open by man, then mankind would be rebel rebels. They would be the wheat, or they would be the terror, rather. And uh, all the wheat who will believe God's word must come with me. It's time to unplug the good from the bad. It's time for the spiritual, good, loving people to leave the bad, religious, condemning, judgmental, uh, demon under rock, false prophet everywhere kind of a accusing kind of people. Um, David Bowie said that uh, religious people are as shallow as a glass of water and they cannot abide under the, 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 the floodgates of heaven that's pouring out his unconditional love upon all flesh. They would need an ocean deep enough to hold that much living water and they only got a little glass. So that's it for them. It's time to leave them behind. And that is the way that unity shall begin because what's going to happen, you unplug from them, it's going to break the back of religion and cause the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, who I am foretold as one like Moses that would lead the great 
exodus of these end times out because God's word comes forth as Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 says to tear down all the kingdoms of man, all the imaginations of all dark grossness, gross darkness religion uh, that has covered all people. The gross darkness has covered all mankind. The veil has been ripped as it was in the beginning, so is it now at the end. What did we have in the beginning? Jeremiah 32, 27, proclaimed, I am the Lord God of all mankind, all nations of earth. And what happens in the kingdom age when the veil has been ripped? Well, the mystery of God is over. The uh, covenant has been given to the correct people, Israel and all mankind. Israel inherits all the Gentiles, Isaiah uh, 54. And then da, 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 the seven trumpet sounds, the mystery of God is over. And what happens? Da, 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 here come, here it is, ready. All nations become the Lord's. Well, wait a second, weren't they already all the Lord? Yeah, so what's changed? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing's changed. There's never been a difference between anyone. We all believe the same. Never a difference between Jew and Gentile. It's all been of our imagination. And there is new, nothing new under the sun, except this is the new thing that Isaiah foretold. And it shall give the Lord much abundant glory. And his love stirred up, pressed together, overflowing, shall save this earth, beloved. So now a word about the revealed Antichrist wannabe, Morgan Knight. Uh, listen to the man. He is a genius. He's got uh, many great opinions. Balaam was a, a true prophet, even though he turned out false in many of his ways. Uh, the one that a donkey, uh, uh, his donkey spoke to him. And uh, Balaam wrote some beautiful scripture. And uh, some of that is in the Bible. But um, every single person is good and bad. We are all a mixture. And it is hypocritical to think that your religion can, can, can uh, bleed your badness out of you. As long as we have flesh, that's it for us. There's going to be badness in all of us, no matter how hard we try to get rid of it. It is totally impossible. But it's a good thing that all of our beliefs are, are as meaningless and uh, uh, as filthy rags, uh, because it's never been about us. It's always been about him, what he has done for us. Uh, beloved, he sees none of us as we are, but as we will be. The second we pass into glory, and, and then we stop being the caterpillar, and we become the butterfly. And when that happens, beloved, we shine, and we shine as the stars. And that is what we need to do, because the veil is now ripped, and he loves us all equally, one and the same. So we have to unfurl our wings and be the butterfly and get those guys, they bug you, just pop their little heads. Pop those little heads. That's a very important thing to do sometimes. Gets the frustrations out of you. It's like punching bozo, don't you know? And, uh, but praise the Lord. Uh, and know that uh, as, as I start teaching here, that he has not committed blaspheme of the Holy Spirit, and neither has the the uh, false prophet of Revelation 13:13, 13, 13, from repent and prepare the way, Doctor David Auer. He's the one calling down fire in front of many multitudes. He has absolutely no restoration of God in his mouth, and he's claiming to be me, and uh, he's just deceiving. He's got a nice man. He has not committed. Uh, blaspheme of the Holy Spirit and because God has been faithful to cut those days short and intervene and stop that future that is what's happening I don't expect that either uh, Morgan Knight the revealed uh, Antichrist wannabe or Dr. David Auer I don't believe that either of them shall ever succumb to blaspheme of the Holy Spirit where the, their love uh, shall totally go out and they commit the unforgivable sin. That would be in a reality where God's word did not come forth anew as he has written it to be in Habakkuk 2. The vision was foretold to come in the latter days. It would not lie. Behold, he whose soul is not upright, but the just shall live by his faith, even though he's been transgressed by wine. And I shall become as hell as I gather all people unto 
uh, myself as greedy as hell can never be satisfied for the risen Lamb of God who arises in this hour over one and all as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man as he foretold in Garden of Gethsemane in John 17 20 and as he foretold uh, to his apostles in John 10 15 to 16. So beloved, the surprise of history is that the first is last and the last is first. And the Lord's word has always been the key to understanding all prophecy. And I am the latter day Daniel who has been given the keys to the understanding of prophecy because the spirit of Daniel comes upon me as the latter day Daniel uh, who arises to embrace my destiny as Shiloh of Genesis 49, as the revealer of the fullness of Gentiles of Romans 11. I am the revealer of the sons and daughters of God. They are angels who are created as gods, as Jesus said in John 10. And uh, the mystery has been that God in the flesh came unto to his angels in the flesh, who we are. We are his latter house, and our glory shall be greater than that of the former, as we shine like the stars that we were meant to be, because we were created to be the caterpillar that will become the most beautiful butterflies of all, beloved. So it's time to arise in new newness of understanding. And insofar as Morgan Knight goes, the... Uh, the revealed Antichrist wannabe. A, a, a devilish great beast shall rise up out of the sea of uh, atheism and from Morgan's nostrils waft foul and loathsome air and from where Morg shall arise as death for all. He arises from the sea and the clear waters will rapidly turn to mud all around his muddled uh, logic and reason. And his unsightly body would be covered with black and steaming stone. Morgan Knight's worst nightmare come alive. And that vile one who is transformed into the Jekyll from the Mr. Hyde, and that vile one coming forth with the inner image of the dragon of old will have been raised with the instructions of indulgence of from his self to his self, being well versed with the knowledge of how to worship uh, mankind's God, the almighty dollar, which he shall now bow down to as he's pumping innocence out of uh, millions to come, Morg. That's the good news. Nor would that evil one ever fail to see Lucifer's chin as that sword swallower gazes in his mirror, ready to stick another one down his long throat. Even as a child of rebellion who was hurt terribly by religion and religion played an evil role in his life and he is just on a personal revenge path and he hates Christians beloved and in the one video uh, called message to Mr. Morg he had promised and he took it down he went like this to that video and he says I'm gonna squash you he took it right down because I challenged him publicly I wish I hadn't and what happened is that uh, he took that video down where he has, was straight up promising uh, to paint this world blood red. And that was a promise in that video which he took down and then he put up, and I have never ever implied uh, violence in this world. <laughs> okay, Mr. Moore. Even as a child of rebellion, people around uh, Morgan, Morg's eyes were in no way dim at all for they, have all, his eyes have always flickered with the real tainted glory of many glowing flat flames of hell. Let those of faith resist the beast, but watch him. Watch him. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Keep your eye on this man. I'm telling you, he has gone exponential. If you watch him, just go like that. Just pop his little head. Pop that little head. That's it for him. But we have to shine as the butterfly that we were created to be, which means we need to be open-hearted and open-minded 
take all that's good and leave what's bad. I can listen. I, I listen to uh, um, videos from uh, uh, Anton LaVey. I watch the deathbed confession thereof on his deathbed. Our loved one of the ages saved that uh, writer of the Satanic Bible because he kept his al love alive until the end, as the Bible directs. So know uh, that uh, he must be resisted as his truth, for there is no truth in him. But once once he grows, and Morg is growing as death, and he is as greedy as hell as well. So it's the final show off between two YouTubers, Daniel Owsley, the Latter-day Elijah, the Shiloh of Genesis 49, the arrow of the Lord of uh Revelation 6, the white horseman that goes out to defeat the other three bad ones, the red, the black, and the pale. And uh, he goes forth with uh, a bow just for the arrow of his servant of the Lord, who I am. I was the one in Isaiah 49, 4, that wasted all of his time in vain for love. I raised a family and they all cast me aside, every single one of them, all of my f uh, five kids and my wife because of my passionate uh, passion for love. There is no honor in a, prophet of, in a, a prophet's house for that prophet. And once he grows Morgan uh, into Morg and transforms from uh, Hyde into Jekyll, he shall be bringing forth the number of his name, 666, which is mounted upon his wall in his Hyperion Paisley uh, symbol, which is mostly apparent. Then would great lawlessness increase over the circle of earth as a result of the trial of all flesh from, from Revelation 3, coming to bring God's word of patience, to keep everyone from the hour of the temptation, to listen to Morgan Knight's atheistic sermon of utter foolishness. As that great deceiver Morg stands in blasphemy of all that is good and righteous, for Morgan would arise in Jerusalem's third rebuilt holy temple while proclaiming his uh, divinity while committing uh, the um, uh, abomination of desolation, which has already come within our hearts because we have perverted the truth of love in all of our hearts because love has never been understood. Uh, we only have a knockoff version out of Dante's Inferno. And uh, so let those of faith resist the beast once he grows, bringing the number of his name, then would be a great lawless increase over the circle of earth as that great deceiver stands in blasphemy. Nor would that one begat of the wretchedness of all evil corrupted thinking ever fail to place people of all tribes and tongues into his very own hand if the two olive trees, the two candlesticks of God are not obeyed. And unto me as Shiloh shall all the obedience of the whole world go to unto, uh, saith the Lord God in Isaiah 49. Read it for yourself. Neither would uh, Morgan's influence not be controlling the world's resources in a day to come that has been cut short by the word of God coming anew and by his corrupted influence, satanic, even though Satan has been removed now. And this is another reason why Satan has been removed is because the Antichrist is arising to take Satan's place. Uh, after the calling away happens, when people arise to the great white cloud of Revelation 14 and Matthew 24, the great white cloud of the former confusion of our twisted understandings of what religion should really mean, the great white cloud where our Lord stands before all men, the great white cloud where he sink, sinks the, the transformed sword of his spirit into the sickle of his love and he puts it into the earth, the great white cloud where he sends forth his everlasting God unto all nations. The great white cloud of I, the, the writer of the everlasting gospel, the very great white cloud that's pointing to the very first video under this channel that is a creation of uh, a gospel of creation as Revelation 14 foretold, beloved. And by Morg's deadly influence, 
after this calling away happens and after the marriage supper of the Lamb commences, because all are invited to this mountain of Isaiah 25, where the Lord promises to remove the disgrace of all people of earth. And it says that, beloved. So it's time that no man, uh, the time is coming when no man, small or great, would even be able to buy anything without the invisible metaphoric number of his name upon their forehead. For we all either have spiritually 777 upon our brow or 666, the number of man, one like Morg. But he, Morgan Knight, would bring forth even more disturbing things, for he was brought up in contempt of Christians. And as he arises, uh, spewing forth a promise of revenge and bloodshed in this world as his former uh, message message of Mr. Morg revealed before he took it down wisely. Good, good, good uh, show, Mr. Moriarty to my Sherlock. And know that even the children of light in, the fu in that future, had it not been aborted, would have been persecuted by his light-hating uh, shadow that could easily occupy all four, four, four corners of the circle of earth because, beloved, uh, internet has made this world a very small world. So get out of the reign of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Get out of the reign of uh, sulfur ball balls raining down to destroy. Then great would be the world's forthcoming third world war if people will not heed my voice, the messenger of God's covenant of Malachi 3.1. And then Morg would bring forth in that future the middle of his rule. In that time of incoming death that has been uh, uh, wiped away as uh, the curse of Nineveh has in Jonah 3 aborted, seven women would be uh, in that future would take hold of one man since so few men would be left after nuclear war vaporizes many. But the Lord has changed the future, beloved. And so praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so now let us all turn our spotlight unto Isa, Yeshua Jesus, our carpenter of the ages, who is in full restoration mode with his great refreshing of Acts 3.21, the days of the great restitution of earth, where earth shall be transformed back into uh, Eden again, as as the money from all over the world in Isaiah 61 rightly foretold would come, because people are going to realize we're going to swim or sink together, beloved. And in one of my most vibrant dreams, Peter, the beloved, said to our Lord, he said, O oh Lord, my light everlasting, before the rapture of uh, the eyes of people's hearts take place within a twinkling of an eye so that they can ascend to the great mountain of Micah 4. Once the worst of that time starts to happen, shall your sheep be safe from the wolves? Or would Christians have to endure some terrible hardships? And this is what he asked. And Jesus said, it would be given unto dark, dark powers and principalities and to morgue and to death to encourage the earth to be defiled. Yea, overseers would they be as they direct sons of devastation to poison the ground, destroy the land and sea creatures, foul the air and bury the hope of those who do not see those things as good if they, if my third Elijah Daniel is not obeyed. So it's time to stop unfurling black and demonic wings and let the veil of the kingdom age be ripped so that we, the fallen of the Lord, cannot be demons in the flesh, but we can be the angels that we were created to be, that our light would shine brighter than the sun as the sun of love comes to cast all of our foulness away. So praise the Lord that he has only seen us 
uh, through the eyes of the future. And he, as he looks at uh, us now, if our light of love, his light within us is on, he only sees our future of love with him. For he never sees any of us as we are, but as we will be. And that is the fullness of the spirit of prophecy, the revelation of Jesus Christ Almighty, his love for one and all.